Hello friends, welcome to Prefacts Corner Series discussion. Today we are going to cover electronic skin, permafrost, Krishna and Godavari River, Vamsadara River, and microplastics. First important article to discuss is electronic skin. Recently, the scientists have found a new process for synthesizing crystalline rubberin. So what is crystalline rubberin? Crystalline rubberin is a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon based thin film which can be useful for the development of opto electronic devices and also for preparation of electronic skin. The crystalline rubberin are water free, solvent free, environmental friendly one step plasma process. So the work delivered a new experimental approach for synthesis of crystalline rubber in film and a realization of pyrophototronic effect on a fully organic crystalline medium with rubber in for the first time. What is pyro and piezoelectronic material? Pyroelectronic materials generate electric charge when they are heated or cooled, whereas piezoelectronic materials generate electric charge under the effect of mechanical. Pressure. Next article is on permafrost. The principal reason that led to the recent 20,000 ton oil leak at an Arctic region power plant in Russia that is now being recognized is the sinking of ground surface due to permafrost thaw. What is permafrost? Permafrost is a ground that remains completely frozen at 0 degrees Celsius or below for at least two years. They are solely based on temperature and duration. The permafrost consists soil, sand and rock held together by ice and is believed to have formed during glacial periods dating several millennia. The permafrosts lies below 22% of the land surface on earth, mostly in polar zones and regions with high mountains. The spread across 55% of the landmass in Russia and Canada, 85% in the US state of Alaska and possibly the entirely of Antarctica. At lower latitudes, permafrost is found at high altitude locations such as the Alps and the Tibetan Plateau. While permafrost itself is always frozen, the surface layer that covers it, which is called the active layer, need not remain frozen. In Canada and Russia, for example, colorful tundra vegetation carpet over permafrost for thousands of kilometers. The thickness reduces progressively towards the south. They are affected by a number of other factors, including Earth's interior heat, snow and vegetation cover presence of water bodies and topography. A study has shown that every one degree Celsius rise in temperature can degrade up to 39 lakh square kilometer due to thawing. When permafrost thaws, microbes start decomposing. This carbon matter releasing greenhouse gases like methane and carbon dioxide. They also release NC and bacteria and viruses into the atmosphere as they unfreeze. How does climate change affect the permafrost. As Earth's climate warms, the permafrost is thawing. That means the ice inside the permafrost melts, leaving behind water and soil. Thawing permafrost can have dramatic impacts on our planet and the things living on it. For example, when permafrost is frozen, it's harder than concrete. However, thawing permafrost can destroy houses, roads and other infrastructure. The plant material in the soil called organic carbon can't decompose or rot away. As permafrost throws, microbes begin decomposing this material. This process releases greenhouse gases like carbon dioxide as well as methane to the atmosphere. When permafrost thaws, so do ancient bacteria and viruses in the ice and soil. So these newly unfrozen microbes could make humans and animals very sick. Scientists have discovered microbes more than 4 lakh years old in thawed permafrost. 
What is soil moisture active passive? It is a mission of NASA which orbits Earth, collecting information about moisture in the soil. It measures the amount of water in the top two inches of soil everywhere on Earth's surface. It can also tell if the water within the soil is frozen or thawed. Soil moisture active passive measurement will help scientists understand where and how quickly the permafrost is thawing. Next article is on Krishna and Godavari river dispute. Recently, the union government is going to tax stock of water utilization from the Krishna and Godavari rivers following Telangana and Andhra Pradesh filing complaints against each other. Telangana and Andhra Pradesh share stretches of the Krishna and Godavari and their own tributaries. Both states have proposed several new projects without getting clearance from the river boards, the Central Water Commission and the Pax Council as mandated by the Andhra Pradesh Reorganization Act. 2014. Interstate Water Disputes Article 262 of the Constitution of India provides for the adjudication of interstate water disputes. Under this, Parliament may by law provide for the adjudication of any dispute or complaint with respect to the use, distribution and control of waters of any interstate river and river valley. Parliament may also provide that neither the Supreme Court nor any other court is to exercise jurisdiction in respect of any such dispute or complaint. The Interstate Water Disputes Act empowers the central government to set up an ad hoc tribunal for the adjudication of a dispute between two or more states in relation to the waters of an interstate river or river valley. The decision of the tribunal is final and binding on the parties to the dispute. About Godavari River. Godavari River rises from Trembekeswar near Nasik in Maharashtra and flows for a length of about 1465 km before outfoiling into the Bay of Bengal. It extends over states of Maharashtra, Andhra Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, and Odisha in addition to smaller parts in Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka and Union Territory of Puducherry. The tributaries of Godavari rivers are Prabhara, Purna, Manjara, Penganga, Vardha, Vainganga, Pranahita, Indravati, Manir and Sabri. About the Krishna River. It is an east flowing river which originates at Mahavaleshwar in Maharashtra and merges with the Bay of Bengal flowing through Maharashtra. Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra Pradesh. The tributaries of the Krishna rivers are Tungabhadra, Malprabha, Koina, Bhima, Ghataprabha, Yerla, Varna, Dindi, Musi and Dudhkhanga. Next important article is on Vamsadhara River. The Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha will hold talks to clear out all differences and re with regard to the sharing of Vamsadhara River water disputes. Vamsadhara River is an east flowing river which originates in the Kalahandi district of Odisha, flows in Odisha along its boundary with Andhra Pradesh and finally joins the Bay of Bengal at Kalinga Patnam, Andhra Pradesh. It is the main river of northeastern Andhra region and the Bodipali Raj Gopala Rao project was constructed on it to meet the irrigation needs of the region. Last important article of this discussion is microplastics. Recently, scientists have discovered microplastics in greater quantities than ever before on the seabed. What are microplastics? Microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic less than 5 mm in size. They are likely to accumulate most densely on the ocean floor in areas that are also biodiversity hotspots, intensifying the damage they may do to marine ecosystems. Polycasts or bristle worms, they live within the upper layers of sediment and actively mine it and so can ingest buried microplastics that are decades old, showing that even when the pollutants fall to the seafloor, they are not out of harm's way and still have an impact on key ecosystems. Important terms to know, thermohaline driven circulations. They control the distribution of microplastics by creating hot spots of accumulation 
analogs to currents role in depositing sea floor sediments the surface currents constitute about 10% of all the water in the ocean these waters are the upper 400 meter of the ocean deep ocean currents make up the other 90% of the ocean water these currents are driven by differences in the water's density which is controlled by temperature and salinity this process is known as the thermohaline circulation quick revision of the discussion crystalline rubberine a polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbon based thin film which can be useful for the development of opto electronic devices and also for preparation of e skin that is electronic skin permafrost ground that remains completely frozen at 0 degree celsius or below for at least 2 years which are solely based on temperature and duration soil moisture active passive is a nasa mission that orbits earth collecting information about moisture in the soil telangana and andhra pradesh share stretches of the krishna and godavari river and own their tributaries article 262 of the constitution provides for the adjudication of interstate water disputes vamsadhara river is an east flowing river which originates in kalahandi district of odisha flows in odisha and it's along its boundary with andhra pradesh and finally joins the bay of bengal microplastics are tiny pieces of plastic less than 5 mm in size and are likely to accumulate most densely on the ocean floor in areas that are also biodiversity hotspots thank you for watching